Already a species of special concern, the prairie rattlesnake continues to face a difficult existence. That's today's news. The prairie rattlesnake should have your respect, but not be a subject of fear. Unfortunately for this highly specialized animal, it's already listed as a species of special concern in Alberta. One of several contributing factors to low population numbers of the prairie rattlesnake is the high mortality rate it suffers along southern Alberta highways. Yep, huge numbers of them. And still a bit of intentional persecution. There still are people around um, that hate snakes. Um, but a lot of also habitat loss. So we have dens where the habitat all around is cultivated. And so snakes get killed by farm machinery during harvest or planting. And they don't have anywhere else to go. They have no choice but to move through these cultivated fields. And when combined with the fact these snakes reproduce at a much older age and produce smaller litters, it's going to take some time for this species to recover. In the meanwhile, highlighting the fact motorists are driving through the snake's territory is at least one step in raising awareness. We do have the watch for rattlesnake sign and we do ask for motorists to slow down, to pay attention and to try to avoid hitting rattlesnakes if they can. Through the work being conducted by Alberta Environment and Parks, efforts to monitor snake movements and to determine just where the snake dens are located is now underway. Of course, to collect this kind of information means the delicate work of capturing and attaching transmitters is required. So once we find a rattlesnake in our target area, we capture it and we put the head and neck in a tube uh, so that we don't get bit. And, and then we um, attach the transmitter just with a single piece of duct tape. So these are short-lived VHF transmitters. I only need them to stay on the snake until they reach their den. So one or two weeks at tops. And so the, the uh, transmitter is not designed to stay on long term. It's not going to. And so once we release the snake, then we, we track it and depending how many days it takes to get its, to its den, but we track it. Um, this is the telemetry equipment that I use to track snakes that I put a transmitter on. So this is the antenna and the receiver. And I program, it, program in the um, correct frequency of the transmitter and uh, hope to pick it up. So my purpose for trying to find the rattlesnake dens is over time I want to get a more precise estimate of the population of rattlesnakes in the province. Um, it's important to know where the dens are so that they can be protected from any potential industrial activity as well then I can monitor their persistence and occupancy over time just to know how the rattlesnake population is doing in Alberta. Almost as significant as the science are Sandy's continuing efforts to better educate us in understanding and accepting snakes as part of a healthy ecosystem.